I was 18 when I developed a distaste for bungee cords. Bungee cords are those elastic, haphazard little ropes with hook ends that'll take your eye out if you stretch it too far and it snaps. My dad is a fan of the bungee and has a gift for securing things of a weight that would seem much too great to be held by such a dumb, surprisingly unflimsy little cord. On one particular occasion, he was arranging our luggage on his little Yamaha motorcycle, strapping backpacks to the edge of the seat and bungee cords with the precise yet overly dramatic movements of a magician. I, his assistant, was pacing on the hot pavement in front of some motel we had stayed at during our road trip, stopping only to bend over and dig into the swamp of bungee worms sprawled in the black tar to hand my dad a bungee of this length or the next. That was the summer, in the frank heat of the South, that I decided I never want to see another bungee cord again. It was also the summer that I inherited from my dad not his love for bungee cords, but the value of taking calculated risks. A calculated risk is the unsafe decision, but unsafe only in the sense that it brings you out of your comfort zone, out of the box. Because there is such a thing as a risky risk, and that's just foolish. I know there's a mathematic and practical definition of the term calculated risk, but I think the one I was taught pulls from the more economic term anyway. Taking a good calculated risk involves looking at the opportunity cost you're willing to compromise when peering down whatever crossroads you find yourself at in life. If you take a good calculated risk, the decision you make will bring you down the road less traveled and closer to your goals, whatever that is. The motorcycle trip I took with my dad was a high school graduation present and served not only to expose two northerners to the elements of the south, but to present to me a question. What do I want to do with my life? I thought I made a good calculated risk by moving to Missouri to pursue a degree in journalism. But maybe I didn't. I'm still learning. And I'm also still a naturally anxious person, and I feel a lot of trepidation in most decisions I make, let alone big ones. But I'm getting better, and as I get older, I feel myself relying less on a calculated mindset, opting instead for a riskier one. And when I'm faced with a big decision, I always take heed to the importance of following what's in my heart of hearts, offset only a smidge by the hesitation running through my head. One of the most powerful lessons I've learned in life is to consider the following. You can either own your choices, your safe calls, and your risks, or you can allow yourself to be a circumstance of your surroundings, growing increasingly angsty until your head snaps off in frustration like a backpack without a bungee cord. This, I believe.